our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video. So today I want to talk about two separate titles and hopefully I won't make this too long. I want to talk about how to start your comic book story and I want to talk about how to pace your comic book story. So we'll get deeper into that as I go along. So first of all, let's see, let's, let's talk about how to start your story. And we're going to go in, um, not the order of, we're going to, we're going to, as a superhero, so let's just say you have a superhero story. Okay. So that's the, that's the basis of it. So you can start your story in three ways. You can start it at the beginning. You can start it at the middle. That's two. That's three. You start at the middle and you can start it at the end. So let me give you some examples. And I was thinking about drawing the examples, but I'm going to use the examples, the drawing part for when I show you how to pace your story. Okay. Let's just say your character has not got his received his powers yet. So you can start him out like just to say he lives on a farm. Okay, he's in the bed, he wakes up, um, he goes outside, there's gonna be a storm, and lightning hits uh, a crop duster and goes through the crop duster and hits him, and then he gets his power. That's how you start from the beginning. Starting in the middle, it could be something like he's already got his power and he's in the middle of a fight with whatever the main protagonist, and then it, during that battle, he has a flashback of how did I get here? You know, what's going on? You know, so that's how you start in the middle. And at the very end, it could be where he has lost his power, he's losing his power, or he has died. And if he died, someone else could be telling the story. If he's losing his power, he can then go back and then tell how it all started and how he's going to lose his power. So there are three different ways you can start your story. But whatever way you choose, it needs to be just spectacular. As in, as soon as someone opens that book, the first page, when they turn that first page, it's got to be like, bam, right there in your face. So it's, it's got to be so exciting that um, they want to turn to the next page and then the next page and the next page. And that's something you have to do when you are drawing the book or if you're just a writer and you um hire an artist you specifically tell that artist look i want your very best i want this that that the other thing you know what you see in your mind is what you want on that paper and then tweak it a little bit to make it even better so three ways to start start at the beginning start at the middle start at the end it's your choice your story all right so let's talk about pacing when you do a book when you have a, when you're going to have a book published or printed, a lot of publishing companies say, okay, we do in pages of 12, 18, 24, 36. You know, they can't do like uh, 17 pages. They won't do 17 pages or 19 pages or, or 22 and a half pages. You have to be able to get the right amount of number of pages they, they want. Or if your story is not that long, you add some fillers which are, which are, which some of the top comic book companies did. And let me give you an example. And I, I showed you this in another video. Let me give you an example real quick. All right. So this is Justice League number six. Yes, this is an old book. I am, or I was a comic book collector. Let me get my glasses so that I can see. I can see everything else. But when it gets time to seeing this small stuff, it's kind of hard to see. Okay. Justice League number six, April 7. I don't know what year, but you see the condition it's in. As I say, I used to collect comic books before. Um, before I started to do my own comic book. So, okay, fillers. You know, usually you, you, you pick up a book. Back in the day, you're like, oh, this is thick. It must be a lot of art. It must be a lot of story in it. Because, you know, most of these pages, are like, books are like 12 pages. Okay, filler. One, two, three, filler. One, another filler. One, two, three. This is some good art. This is this is by far my filler. You know, it's got nothing to do with the story. One, two, three, filler. You know, so it's just if you don't have enough um, pages to meet the requirement for publishing your book, I'm slowing down. Then you just add some filler. Do, do a a pinup of your character or a pinup of your. Um, characters or a bad guy one one for the you know hero one for the bad guy 
or whatever, just, you know, just a, an existing book or maybe a preview of the cover for your next book. Just add fillers to make it a little thicker and then people will feel like they're getting, you know, from their money. So as I was saying, this guy, Ed Bennis, is like number one on my list as far as artists. And I mean, Ed is just tight because he does all his own penciling and he does his inking as well. This guy is just, to me, he's number one. Second would be Jim Lee. I mean, Ed just, the man is just good, okay? Second is Jim Lee. I think third, it was John Byrne, and John Byrne was all, John Byrne was one of the ones that really got me looking at comics because Byrne was the man. Hopefully, he comes back. All right, so I heard he was trying to do a um, Fantastic Four book, so start Fantastic Four the right way. Because he was the one that got Superman started. Because when he took over Superman, he said, the man's too powerful. There's no nothing you can do with him. So he started him again by gradually building up his power. And now he's like too powerful again. So, all right, let's talk about pacing your story. So here we have book. I don't know how many pages. I don't want to count all these pages. But in the end, you want to start. You want to end out, you know, with something that will make the reader come back. Another filler. That would make the reader want to buy the next book. So I guess this guy's all beat up. And I guess he kind of died. And then he came back to life. So maybe the next book he's going to have. Um, new costume, new look, whatever. So that will make you... And speaking of that, let's open it up. This is not number one book. But you've got... This guy, what is that? It's like Bedrock or something like that. You got action going on. You, I'm surprised it's not. It's not. A, it's not a, a pinup. One big pinup. Let's look at the next one. You got kind of a pinup on this guy. Shocking though. But when you open up your book, you want to have it just so, uh, just like your cover. You want the cover to reach out and grab the person to say, "Hey, that looks nice. Let me go ahead and buy that thing." So, something else you got to think about doing covers. I, I think I did. I did a video on covers. So. Maybe later on down the line, I'll do another video on covers. So, okay, so pacing your story. As I said, you want to have enough panels to where at the end, that story is complete, provided you don't have an um, ongoing story. If you have like one book, one shot, then yeah, you definitely got it. But if you have a... Um, you definitely have to have the last page. I'm going fast. You have to have that last page where it's a cliffhanger. Now, if you have multiple issues, you still want to have that cliffhanger, but you have to pace it so you give away just enough story to get the person to come back to the next story. All right, now, since this is a drawing tutorial-ish, I think it's time we start drawing. All right, as I said, if I can remember what I said in the beginning, Let's just say the guy is, and this is just going to be some real, really, really, really rough, rough, um, rough thumbnails of what I was saying. So in the beginning, here's a guy, he's sleeping in the bed. Blowing those bubbles. Hopefully you can, you can see that. Sleeping in the bed, his covers, you know. Sleeping in bed, panel one. Panel two, he wakes up because there's a storm. So he wakes up because he hears like the boom and the crack. He's like, huh? Sideways, get, get a little sideways because, you know, he's, he, he's not in trouble. So he's like, he hears that. Here's his covers. There's his little pillow back here. A little more expression. Give him a little hair. This is hair. All the hair he could ever grow. And <laughs> it's like, boom, crack. He woke up. Hey, what, what, what's going on? So he steps outside. Let's just say this is his porch. This is his door. Door's open. He steps outside. There's a storm. Let's put his hand right there. He's like, it's rain. It's gonna rain. He steps outside, kind of looks up, looking up. There. Okay, this is the porch. 
let's uh, say get into detail here there's some little guard rails right here whatever you call those rails and cloudy and lightning striking in the distance and he looks looks up what so next panel is your plane let's just say crop duster old oh, crop duster i don't know how to draw those old planes reference my friend reference my friend this looks like the starship enterprise in front of the starship enterprise don't worry it won't be so wing here wing there propellers crop dusting why would he crop dust in a storm it's a comic book it's a story uh, you wrote the story don't worry about it <laughs> crop dusting and then lightning hits the plane boom and some crop dusting stuff or lightning could have went hit the crop dusting stuff okay but let's just say it hit the plane okay look this lightning hit the plane boom 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 because lightning does what lightning wants to do it went up it hit the crop dusting stuff and came back around and back down crop dusting stuff crop dusting powder whatever whatever this is a whack looking plane i don't know how to draw a crop that's okay so it's just you know this is not a 40s movie anyway hit the thing so it comes down and he is like right here looking up and notice how i change the angles you know this is the first thing i see when i draw and usually the first thing you see in your imagination is kind of right you know you can tweak it a little bit more but you know go with the first thing that you see so here's lightning coming down how can he see lightning coming down? It's a comic book. Okay, this, this is a lightning coming down for him. Oh, wait a minute, he's got a little bit of hair right there. And then, um, boom, lightning hits him. And okay, this is the crop dusting particles that it's taking with it that the lightning just transformed into whatever. So he's hit right here. The hand, you know, you gotta have that like that little I got hurt hand with the fingers bent like that. Yeah, because lightning went through him and the crop dusting particles all around him. So the leg, I don't know, that leg is bent because that lightning hit him so hard it just kind of like picked him up, and bent his legs like that. So hopefully you can understand that what I'm drawing. If you cannot, I'm just going to do it in red because I am an artist. So I don't want you guys to see what I'm talking about. Position-wise, anyway. So, yeah. The other leg here and the foot there. And this hand is bent down. Like, you can just see what I just did. And you see that part of the arm. And then he got hit. And it's like, yeah. Looks like a ghost. All right, so lightning hit him with the crop dusting particle stuff. Now he is, let's say on the field, because it hit him and knocked him up, and he's like laid out in the field somewhere. With his extra long legs. is laid out in the field grass and it's raining rain would come up like this because you're going into the person you're going to look straight down so it'd be like in a funnel rain would not just be from the side you're looking straight down so rain is gonna have to come down like that on that person so, and he's glowing now. Of course, you always glow when um, you get hit by lightning and, you know, before you transform. So he's in the grass and he's also smoking, you know, because this, this is what you do when smoke is going to come up because he developed his power. So when he wakes up, when he wakes up, okay. He wakes up. Kind of like sitting up in the in the wet grass. 
his hand here. And he's like, well, he's not going to have his mouth open. He's not surprised. He's not that surprised. It's more about what? What happened? Looking at his hands. Because his hands are now, well, his whole body's now energized, but of course, everybody's powers come from their hands. So. He's seeing his powers for the first time. And his hair is going back because he just transformed. So his hair is now up, it's going back. Now, this is pacing your story. How fast do you want it to go? How slow do you want it to go? Like, I could have had, like, the guy sleeping. And then he came out. I could have skipped that, but you know that's an important part. He could have skipped that because he could have boom, and he could have said, "Oh, is it raining?" And then see the crop duster, and then you could have skipped that. You could hit that, and then that, and then maybe one after that. Like if I have him standing up, and you see he's standing up, and he's basically, I don't want to say took control of his power, but you have to have that. You know, um, what is what is what is this called? It's like. It would be a pinup, just like you saw in the book. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? There's a little shot like that. There's always a shot like that, especially when somebody gets a whole costume, you know, or they, they discover their power. I, I, it's like a, I can't think of that. It's like a pose. You strike that pose kind of thing. So, yeah, he got that pose and he's got his power. He realized, oh, he got, I got power now, you know, so he just stood up and, you know, he's just a bad, he's just a bad cat now. So. Yeah, now I could skip that. I could skip this. I could have that one, skip that one, and then have that one. That's um, speeding it up. You know, if I had to make it a little even quicker, I would use this. You, you know he's asleep because he's in the bed. Um, this, he came out. This, and then this. So if I had this long story and the way I pace it, I say to myself, okay, this is too long. For the first book, I need to chop it up a little bit to shorten it. Or if I need it to lengthen it, then I could actually do, you know, some extra scenes. Like he jumped up, I could have him putting his clothes on, then going outside. Then he could be looking around at the sky. Then he could see the airplane. You could see the, the pilot. I could see the pilot in the airplane. The pilot? Yeah, pilot in the airplane. Show him. You know, he's scared. He's looking up at lightning. Uh, lightning is missing the plane. He's trying to hurry up and get down or try to land. And then, then lightning can hit the plane. Then I can show the pilot again. Oh, mayday, mayday, whatever. I'm going down. I'm going down. He's looking up. And he's like, oh, my gosh. He sees the plane without, you know, the lightning being there yet. And maybe lightning hit a second time. And then it could have came down and hit him. So, there's ways of pacing your story. How fast do you want the reader to, to get there? How much do you want the reader to know about the character? Because during all of this, I could easily um, add dialogue to where you know about the character. Like, I could say, I can have him sleeping. Uh, you can see the clocks. Maybe it's 8 p.m. or something. Like, Why would he crop dust at 8 p.m.? I don't know. It's a comic book. <laughs> it tells you a little bit about it, or it could be 1 o'clock, whatever. Why would he crop dust at 1 a.m.? Whatever. So he'll wake up, and he's like, hey, what time is it? Why is there a storm? You know, there's no storms in, in um, Kentucky. You know, just things like that. How can I get my sleep? I'm, I'm 40 years old. I'm supposed to get my sleep. What are storms in Kentucky? That's why I moved here 10 years ago, because it's, it's supposed to be calm and, and not no crazy storms. So right there, you know the guy's 40. He lives in Kentucky, and... He's going to bed at whatever, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, why would you? It's not dark at 7 o'clock. You can crop dust. So, yeah, by that, you you can start building up your character. Um, not character reference, but character, character, character. You know, even with this guy, I mean, I could, I could bring him back in a story later. He could actually be the bad guy. Hey, go ahead, Brian. That's a good thing. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's really good. So, yeah, I could have the, him... You know, with the dialogue with him, he's like, oh, my goodness, I knew I shouldn't have took this job. I needed the money to feed my family. Okay, right away, you know he's poor because he needs the money. So he took this job to, to crop dust at 9, <laughs> 9 o'clock at night or whatever time. So later on, he could be motivated by greed, 
because he might have the same power as him or he might have a different power because the time it took the lightning to charge up um, this little crop dusting dust to hit him, he got a different power from this guy. So pacing the story. So that would be the beginning of the story. If you want to start at the beginning, you start at the beginning. He has no power. This is how he got his power. So I know I'm going fast, but as I said, I don't want this to be a... Um, our video because my camera once I get so much time on a video my camera will not give it to me and I have to open up this whole new program just to get the video off the phone so I want to stop it in a minute and then redo it so anyway okay so the middle of the the, the story if I start in the middle of the story so this is coming out of my head now this is not this is nothing scripted or anything like that I'm just, just coming out of the middle so I'm just coming out of the middle I'm just coming out of my head I talk fast too because my Brain is always on the next sentence, and I forget to say the first sentence. So let's just say, he, here we are. You open up the book. This is the first page of the book. And how do I see that? How do I see that? Right here. Let's just say this. How would that hand go? Thumb is always in the middle. Thumb is always on the inside, and fingers on the outside. So thumb is always on the inside, fingers on the outside. And I had to say that because I would always draw my hand the wrong hands the wrong way so thumb is all the fingers in the middle okay this is not a drawing competition so i'm just putting the guy's hand right here so let's put the thumb here which is better so we have this guy we open up the book and then we have this guy being soaked since he's a hero now let's give him the hero mask and of course mask always whenever you 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 um whenever you make an impression your mask always opens and closes uh, yeah i don't know why it's fabric but it's magic fabric so yeah your mask always does that so he's being choked by someone let's see his shoulder his arm's going to be back here somewhere his shoulder's going to be back here you can see part of maybe part of his little super suit or whatever you don't want to show too much so that would be like your first page pinup and then he could be he could say something so we get a close-up of his mask that moves with his eyes and sometimes the sweat comes through the mask too because it's just comic books. So the flashback would be like, what, what? This guy's really mad, he's going to kill me. How in the world did I let myself get into that situation? And then we cut back, it all started uh, Sunday morning at 7 a.m. while the guy was crop dusting, and, you know. So and then you go back to this. And then you move forward to the point where they actually started fighting and you would leave off because you, you've done a lot of backstory. You can leave off with the next step after this. The next step after this, let's just say he, well, your body wouldn't, your body wouldn't be like that. Uh, I'm trying to figure this one out. Okay, just mm. it would be if if I did what I said I was gonna do. Okay, so come on, Brian. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just telling a story. Yeah, but come on, you got to draw better than that. Okay, so this would be your end page here. This is your first couple pages. The first couple of pages. This is for your first couple. This is your first page with a couple of um, panels in it. This, you flip to another page. This would be your, like kind of your last page. Uh, panel, panel, panel. And then this. And it could have been like 
he shot the lightning through that guy, which is his weakness, which you learn somewhere during the story that whatever this guy has, he's the anti of whatever this guy is. Not anti like anti and uncle, but he is, you know, the opposite of this guy. So he just shot this guy right through his stomach. Here's the blood shooting out. And we know that, we know that, um, this guy has the power to stop him because the story, as we go, as we went from here past all of this, we saw the bad guy, you know, developing as well. And then we, we come to this point where this is the first page, this is a nice pinup. Then it's the talking, um, the other, the bad guy could be talking as well. Then you f go to the next story. You know, if I wanted to pace this more before I went back to, the beginning, I would give a little more dialogue with this guy choking him and like swinging him in the air, maybe picking him up and slamming him down, you know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, this is this would be kind of like my last last panel right there. Or I could have one where he is on the ground, kind of reminiscent of when he first got his power. I could kind of do the same thing almost with the same exact pose. Except this time, well, I could still be in the, in the grass. Depending on where, it could be on concrete, it could be anywhere on a mountain. So, but same pose when he got his power and this one is when he lost his power, so. It could be like a, a hole and smoke coming from there. And then you see the, the blood splatter all over the guy's, you know, uniform. So either that could be the last uh, panel of the um, book. Yeah, panel in the book. Or you could have that one if you want to pace it a little bit more. If not, I would go with, the, it can go with that one. Then you can go with that one. If you wanted to, to pace it a little more and add something to it. You could have had him, like, definitely you would have a, a conversation. Like, he could say whatever. Uh, okay, now, if I'm looking at him, I would want to look. I want to be in his face. I want to be in his face to see. I'd probably angle it, maybe looking down a little bit more. Kind of like I'm down, he's looking down a little bit more. So we put that mask here. His nose is here. The mouth is here. And you got the blood dripping out of his mouth somehow. And he gets be like, and of course you go, you got your mask that moves. So you he's sad because he's hurt and he knows that that was the shock that would take his power away. So you could have that conversation of that, give him a little ear, and his hair, his hair is like that, let's say I'll drop that, I want to see his whole chin, he was holding him by the throat, he let him go, or you could have some of the guy's hands still around his neck, and of course the blood is there, and he's saying, oh, no, how can I let myself be captured? How can I let my guard down? Well, I knew this was going to happen. I should never have, you know, drank that milk this morning because now I'm gaseous. And because I'm gaseous, 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 that, you know, he caught me off guard. <laughs> I could continue that dialogue, but I won't. And then he could have thrown him down, thrown him down, boom, just throw him down. This would be in black. I'd make it small and it would be in black. He hit the ground. The guy just kind of like, just threw him down like that. Just threw him down. I'm I'm done with you. You're just a piece of trash. I'm finished. You thought you was a hero? You're nothing. My mind is always, always, always running. And this is why I don't really sleep. Because my mind is always running. I get maybe about... The most I get maybe four hours of sleep, but 
the second I, I wake up, like if I had wake up to use a bathroom, I'm not going back to sleep. My mind is always running and it's always on different topics and subjects. Not all related to comic books, but that's just how Brian is. So, yeah, he threw them down and then you have cut to this one, you know, where the guy it, you can leave it there. You could you could do a little bit more. He could walk away. He could be walking away now. Or let's just say this. Let's just say, since that one's in black, this one would be in black too. If he walks away, he could float, fly away. So I would still move this to the very last panel. He's laying on the ground. Arms out of the arm. Leg is here. Other leg is here. And he's just walking away or flying away. You know, I'm done with you. I thought you was a match for me. That's a run, Brian. That's a run. The further you split the legs apart, the more faster the person's go. Fast the 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 faster the person is moving. So you know, and his, and his hands could be glowing because you know he just he just bad. He just you know. He just destroyed his arch enemy, so he's walking away, blah, blah. So, pacing. How fast do you want to go? How slow do you want to go? How many frames do you need? And I'm, I'm kind of looking for one of my quick roughs. If I can find it, give me a second. Let me pause it right here. All right, I have stopped it, and I redid it again so I can get this off camera so i can I, yeah anyway so and i couldn't really find any really 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 good examples so this is example this is from the samurai tribes of the samurai clown this is a long time ago i don't even know what book this is but this is what i will do for um my panels i just do basic squares you know unless i know like this close-up of this guy's you know put them in a more tighter and then I'll draw, you know, what I want. I'll, I'll kind of do the dialogue that I know because when I see a scene, I know what they're saying for the most part. So I'll do all of these, just continuing the story as far as I can see. Then I will say to myself, let me do an 11 by 17. I always do this. I draw the scenes separately. Just panel, you know, I know where I'm going to cut the panel off at. I know where I'm going to cut it off at. Then I will take this. I'll say, okay, this is going to be my 11 by 17 sheet. And then I will add the panels. Which panel is more important than the other? Which one is going to bring them all together? I know this is, you can see that this guy was talking. There's a close-up of his face, and this is black. And he's holding his hands because he's kind of, like, worried. This is I think this is the other guy that he's talking to. He's just in the frame. He's like, wow, what, what, you know? This is this guy, so I did a reverse of that. Just, just show part of his face. A little more close-up and the, the worry on his face eyes and then this is this is the shoes because I think he said something about you not you didn't you never took your shoes off. So I'll see which one is to me is the one that kind of holds it all together. So I'll say okay let's just do this one. This is a two, three, four and you never really want to get more than six. Six I mean eight is to me would be the maximum. Six is really good from getting sunlight through here. I might cut my, close my curtains in a minute. So, okay, yeah, so I'll say this, this, and this, and then the shoes come down somewhere, so I would say maybe the shoes, because he actually talked directly about his shoes. He's a clown. He's got big shoes on. He never takes his shoes off. That's one thing about the samurai clown. He never takes his shoes off because his shoes are like weapons. There are a lot of gadgets inside the shoes, so that's just kind of like one of his main line of defenses. So that would probably, to me, would be one of the main pan bigger panels than Maybe the close-up of his face, you know, the eye here, you know, he, how he was, like, sad. Uh, yeah, I just have to cut that and move that over, and the dialogue could be here. So then I'll figure that out, because I, it, with each page that you make, you still want to have, like, kind of a, a, almost like a cliffhanger to cause somebody to turn the page. You don't want to be like, oh, this is so boring, you know, he, don't, he won't just drink water or something right here. And shoes are exciting. <laughs> so you want to do that and get your panels. And then you, you say, okay, that's page one. It's page two, page three. And then by the time you get all your panels, you'll know, okay, this is only, you know, 22 pages. You know, I need a couple more. 
or I will take this out, take that out, take that out and just get 20 pages. Or you could always add filler. But this is what I would do when this is how I do when I, I start my drawing process. All right. So we have the beginning. We have the middle. And then we have let's go to the end. So I'm trying to think if I did a beginning if this if this was the book and I opened up the book I probably would not have all these panels here I would probably have one big panel to get things started so I may have something exciting like Oh, okay, seeing it from the top. Let's just say I want more of a top than that. So my, my eyeline would be up here. This is why I started up here. I dropped it down here and I dropped it down here. So you're going to see. Let's use these pins. You're going to see more of the top than you would more of a side like that. So by bringing it down from the eye line, which I talked about in the last video, if I, make, if I believe I did do my last video about worm's eye view. So I'm just dropping this down so I can see more of the top of this house. So just, let's just, wow, 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 wow. Great mistake and I'll show you why as soon as I find my eraser that love to hide under all the junk. Let's just do this. All right, so This is my crop dust, so you won't see the you won't see the propeller from there. This guy would be looking up. I don't know whatever controls, however the controls will be. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And yeah, I took these out because if you watch my videos, I can't never find a good pen. I have a lot of these things. So, but I'm, I just really don't want to pull them out. Um, it's crooked already. So he's looking up. Give him a little hat. Give him a little, little whatever hat. So anyway, he's flying the plane. He's looking up because, 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 because there's lightning crackling. And uh, I, 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 let's just, just say this. Here's clouds um, above him. And the house would be like way, let's put the house like way down. That was my mistake. The house was too big. He's crop dusting. And however, the property of the house is whatever driveway and, you know, field road and uh, whatever, whatever else is back there trees or whatever else you can put back there so he's way above the house and the lightning is cracking he's like oh my god where did this storm come from let me lay let me land this plane you know crop dozing and you know i need the money but you know i'll see if i can finish it so that would be i don't know if there's another house there maybe there's another house here far away or barn or whatever so that gives you the sense of this guy is way up high in the air there's this storm cloud and there's lightning coming down it could be all around him so you know he's scared what would be on the top of a wing of a plane i have no idea what would be on the top of some bolts to hold the struts out i don't know so that would probably be my first page if i'm going to do this if i'm going to like i put my hand on it like you can see it <laughs> if i'm going to do this i guess this would probably be my first shot because that's interesting when you open up the book and you see this guy in his plane He's flying his plane 
Uh, this is a little rudder stick that he's, you know, maneuvering. And, you know, he's in the air, high up in the air by the size of the houses that are down below. And lightning and a storm is coming. You know, any any fool would know, hey, he's going to get hit by lightning. So, of course, you will want to move on or, or um, turn the page to see what's what's going to happen. I mean, because you just know, you know, you just know this cat is going to get hit by lightning. And as I say, you got your little, little houses. The smaller you make the houses, the I'm just going to use boxes, okay? The higher, the higher up he is, crop dusting. Why would he crop dust so high up? He's going to the location. He hasn't reached the location. Well, why is the smoke coming out? The crop dusting stuff coming out. Who knows? It's comics. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be my first page. Me personally. I'm touching my chest. Me personally. That would be my first page to get you to go to the second page. And then, you know. Uh, far below. So all these other houses, let's just say, could be kind of obs obscured by something, you know, cloud or something. Here's another cloud over here. Why would he crop dust when it's cloudy? The storm just came up, okay? So you, you would know that this guy's in one of these houses down here. So you open up. Here it is, guy crop dusting. Mm, lightning shot. He's like, oh my God, where did this storm come from? Let me, let me see if I can hurry up and finish this. And then I would switch to this page. And we go on from there. So, where did my other page go? Here it is. This is the middle of the story. He's being choked by the... Put it back, put it back. This guy who, when lightning hit it, it gave him powers as well. But we won't. We don't know that until long ago because the bad guy, who is this guy right here, who still has his little um, navigator cap and glasses on. He kept that on because that's part of his, his power, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, that's kind of cool, you know, and, you know, he's just like, you, you, you dirty scoundrels because of you. You didn't pay me my money for crop dusting. Yeah, so <laughs> he's a bad guy. I lost what I was going to say. I was getting into the story. I just lost what I was going to say. Um, crop, oh, yeah, we he, we won't know that it's him till later in the story. And then you can actually go back and you do his uh, story the same way you did his. Maybe the plane got hit. And it caught on fire or something, and it crashed, and he was thrown from the plane, but he wasn't hurt. He just laid there in the field, just like this guy did. So you can have, like, this whole surrounded kind of thing. Everybody's laying in the field, you know, with their powers, you know. And then he got up, and he realized, you know, he couldn't take his cap off because his cap gave him power. I don't know. All right, so let's go to the end. Now, my brain is racing right now because I have no idea what I'm going to draw, but... Starting from the end of the story, there could be two ways. Like I said, he could be he could be losing his power, he could have lost his power, or he could be dead. Now, if he's dead, let's just do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. He's somebody standing over his grave. Here's John. He blah, blah, blah. So the guy that's standing over the grave is his friend. Somebody that we who, that he introduced, that was introduced later in the story. That became his Jimmy Olsen. And then he's at the guy's grave, and it could be raining just like it was in the storm, during the storm. And he's got his, you know, his black grave clothes on, whatever you call it. We got a suit on, whatever. And it's raining. And then he could be telling the story of when, where's the guy at? The hero, when he first met him. And then you can go back, you know. Um, of course, you wouldn't have this. You wouldn't have this because 
he's now telling the story. So he he didn't know, you know, he could tell you about, you know, how he got hit by lightning in the plane, but he couldn't tell you, oh, he woke up one day from a, you know, crazy dream, the lightning, you know, shook the house and he woke up. He could just tell you his part of the story as you go back to where they met, because that's, that's all, that's basically all he knows is where I met you. Let's just say me. This is my friend. He can tell you when he met me. He met me in a grocery store and it was being robbed and I saved everybody and saved him. Well, he got shot and I flew him to the hospital and we, since then we became great friends. You know, and maybe I, somewhere along the way, I could say, yeah, I was hit by lightning one day because, you know, maybe he didn't. And I keep using this and pointing like you can see. Maybe he didn't really know that there was a crop duster in the clouds and he just saw this lightning come down and it hit him. You know, the crop duster, like I say, could have been in the clouds. So he would not have known that there was a crop duster that got hit by lightning first and then hit me. So he could only tell his part of the story, but he could tell his part of the story in detail because every time he went out, not in detail, but as far as detail that he could say, because every time that the guy went out, me, let's just say me, just, just to make it easy. Every time I went out, he was there with me for some particular reason. Maybe he was photographing me or maybe he was the chauffeur that drove my car because I couldn't fly or whatever the reason. He would tell the story and then he would go back to when we first met, as I said, like in the grocery store. This this is going to be a hard one because my brain is, is, is running. So, okay, let's just do this. It's going to be kind of Jacked up, but let's just see if I can do it. So this is the little conveyor belt. And these are my groceries. This is the guy. This is the cash register back here. He's, he or she is checking out the stuff. There's always a big old monitor right here. So you can see your groceries. Here's my groceries. Here's my groceries. Not mine. His. His and here is the guy. He's there getting ready to check out. There's another line here. And the cashier is there same thing here and there's more people here this is where when you start drawing detail stuff you gotta you gotta be able to do this stuff so <laughs> aisles there's an aisle here is going back with groceries here's another aisle here going back with groceries i'm just kind of pulling this from my head and then so there's two a guy right here right here i know the perspective is off but that's okay. It's a quick thing. So he's got like an assault rifle and he's like shooting up in the air. Bah, 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 bah. This is a stick up, everybody. You know, so neck panel could be, you know, close up of his face, but I'm just trying to show. And I know I was drawing that all off, off, off camera. So this is where he met me because this guy was here. He was shooting up. He's ready to, to shoot everybody. But then I come flying and grab the guy. I don't fly. I just dove, dove really fast, dove at the guy, tackled him. And when I tackled him, the gun could have aimed, came down and hit, the, hit my friend. So that's why you just said you couldn't fly. Anyway, that's why I took him to the hospital because it's my fault that I rushed in because I'm thinking, you know, I haven't been fully trained yet. I just had my powers. And why didn't you blast him? Why didn't you zap him? Whatever. So, yes, I often talk to myself when I'm writing like this. This is the downfalls of being an artist. You get a little crazy in the head. So I dove at the guy. The gun aimed down as he was falling over. And the gun went off. Pow! I know it was, the bullet would have been right here. But anyway, the bullet hit him in the shoulder. Psh, went right through his shoulder. And then I was like, oh, my God, what did I do? So then I took the guy to the hospital. I stayed with him. I felt bad because it's my fault. And then we became friends. So this is why this guy is talking about um, the story and how I died. And of course, from here, you would go to the flashback of this. And then me taking him to the hospital, me sitting with him in the hospital, him, you know, coming, recovering. Then, you know, me, uh, you know, hey, I let him move in with me. I'm not marrying no kids. You know, he, he, you know, he, he was on welfare. He didn't have a lot of money. He only had like two things in the grocery aisle. <laughs> Here we go. So I felt sorry for him and I let him move in with me and I took care of him. 
and we, I showed him, you know, told him about my powers and so forth. So he decided he's going to drive me around, you know, because I can't fly. And then we became good friends. And then we go on to the story. And then one day the bad guy could have busted into the house and we had a fight, you know, and then, yeah. So he got caught up in our whole predicament. So this is how I would end the story or I would begin the story at the end. I mean, there's numerous ways that you can, you can end the story. In this, in begin the story at the end. Let's just say, he's like this. Okay, torso, tuna can, upside down house. I'm gonna give him more curve. I'm gonna curve him back. So then his one leg is this way, one leg is that way, and. His arm is just hanging down. Both arms are just hanging down because that's it. He's got he's got nothing else, and he's like, "I'm dying. I'm dying." And we could have had the guy, the other guy, right here. But that's kind of like a telltale, you know. You you he already beat the guy, so whatever happens in the story, you already know that he defeated the guy, and that's kind of like bad. But just for the sake of arguments, I'm drawing the guy in here, you know, and then of course you can have the blood, pools of blood, you know, because it was a, it was a, it was a just just like the merciless battle, you know, just just you know the guys all beat up bloody blood all over wherever the field or. I mean, it can all take place in, in the wheat field, you know, in, in Kansas or wherever he's, wherever I said he was living at. And he could be all bloody. Let me ink him a little bit more just because I'm more of an artist. Shoulder, collarbone. Show you how this stuff really works. It does really work, even in a pinch. Delt, bicep, form. My hand is down here. This is his back. I'll give him a little curve. I want to kind of curve him back, but curve him too back, back too much, and he'll fall, he'll fall out. So it's going down to his crotch. It's that one leg. It's the other leg. Knee. It's on the foot. And if you do lean back, you notice you, your butt will be on your heels. So this and this are the same length. And then the other arm could be right here. He's just, you know, what's done is done. I'm dying now because. You know, I, I didn't use all my energy up and he's all cut up and blood is, you know, just running down his arm and leg is all cut up. You know, blood is like coming out his mouth. His head's all cut up. His hair is just, just, his hair is just limp like that. Yeah, because he, he, he busted up, you know, cuts and bloody and, you know. And when you open a page, when you open a book and you see something like this, a scene like that, of course, you want to want to turn the page and say, "Oh my God, what happened here?" You know, you got the guy laid out right here. He he all busted up and you know dead to the world. And he, wait, wait, wait. He got to got to put his hat on. Got to put his little his little um, aviation cap on him. He's smiling. He needs to go the other way, Brian. His eyes are closed. So, yeah. So, as I say, if I open up a book up, and this was the pinup right here. This was the pinup here. And he's like, I'm dying. Dying. I'm dying. And then you'd be like, wow, what happens? So of course, I'm, I'm going to flip the page and then find out. And then you can go back to the begin the beginning, which is right here, and keep going. So... But a good thing to do is to break up. And there's a lot of things that I've noticed people don't do is I will like, I'll do this, I'm dying. And then he'll say like, what happened? And I'll go to the battle. I'll go right into a battle between him and him. Then at some point in the battle, I'll go here. And then I'll um, start talking about the beginning 
and what happened. Then I'll break right here and I go back to the battle. Some people, a lot of people, just battle, 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 and until the end. But it's a good way to keep people hooked to your book is to break your story up. You know, during the middle of the battle, when this guy's about to do the killer punch, killer punch, killer punch, he's about to do the killer punch. I don't know. Like I said, this is like coming, coming, coming out of my head. So he's going to do the killer punch. He's going to do the killer punch. The body would be turned. Okay. Well, anyway, he's going to do the killer punch right here on this guy. Here's the other hand. Here's his power from the killer punch. So this guy's gonna do he that killer punch and he's gonna he's gonna step forward to deliver that killer punch. This other one here, he's got his arms back because he doesn't know the block because he's stupid. <laughs> he's trying to like back away from the killer punch. But you know he's not going to be able to do it. He's about to get punched in the face because he doesn't know how to block because he didn't take the martial arts like I did for 17 years. Yes, I did for 17 years. And where did it get me? Eh, it gave me confidence to know I can defend myself. But the president never called me and asked me to, you know, defend the world with my martial arts skills. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. Just go ahead and do comics and get, get your own job. So, yeah, anyway. He's, he's, he's delivering the killer punch right here, and he's about to get hit. So at this point, I'd flash back, you know, to a little more of the, oh, you know, how it began story. And then after a little of the, going, uh, uh, after a little of the story, I'll flash back again. That way people really don't lose interest in it. Not that it should lose interest, but it's kind of a, a, a break from what's happening. To kind of clear the mind so once you read this you're going to want to go through this real quick to go back to this so that's a great way to keep people um motivated into reading your story is not just tell the whole story from the beginning to the end break it up a little bit and that's a good thing when you either start from the end where's my middle where is my middle where's my middle where's my, what is my middle oh and the, or the middle so the same thing here. You could be choking him. He could he could um, get ready to blast him. Then he could go back to the beginning. That's not the beginning. What did you do with the beginning? So many papers. This is the beginning, and he could tell a little bit. And then he'll go back to this. Talk, you know. So see the fight. You know what's happening. Then go back to you know a little more of the beginning. Uh, then come back to that. And so, like I say, you you're keeping that interest of like oh. Flashback. You know, what happened in the flashback? We got to hurry up and get back to the fight. And then you get back to the fight, you show a little bit of fight, and you go back to something else. So, again, great way to keep your person interested. So, I'm going to wrap this up. I know I've talked a lot. And um, hopefully you got what I'm saying. Three ways to start your story from the beginning, the middle, or the end. It's based on a superhero that, you know, didn't get the powers. You might do a police officer or something like that or just a, a squirrel or whatever, you know, but there's three ways to, to, to end it. Um, pacing, it depends on how much detail you want to put into the panels. You know, like he woke up uh, storming, let me go to the bathroom. Then he went to the, put his slippers on, he went to the bathroom and then he came outside because he kept hearing thunder while he's on the toilet. And he said, what's going on outside? He went outside then he felt the rain dropping in his hand. He's like, then he could have said, oh, you know, this is, or did I say, Kentucky or whatever. It's not supposed to be storming in. This is why I moved here. I'm too old to be, you know, give you a little um, story on him. Then, you know, you see the plane. He doesn't see the plane. He's just looking at the storm. You see the plane. This guy's talking. Where is the beginning? Oh, man, what, why, why am I even in this storm? But what's going on? Why I should get home? But I need the money. You know, he could keep saying he needs the money. I'm broke. I would have never done this if I wasn't so broke. And then that's character buildup. So, yeah, I was headed somewhere with that, but I forgot what I was going to say. But I'm going to end this now. Add panels to stretch your story. Take away panels to shorten your story. And if you finish your story and you're short of uh, pages, add some pinups. Just pinups. There's no pinups in here. Just add some pinups of your character or, or another book you're working on. If your friend has a book, 
You say, look, let me put your, you know, character in my book. Give me twenty dollars. You know, that would help for printing costs. Hey, you know, you're advertising this guy's your friend's hero or your story or whatever. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully, I can get this thing up today, and it'll be on time. And um, yeah, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, but I know most of you guys subscribe. I hope you subscribers and I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, tell me, let me know about your stories. You know, would that, would this help? Would this not help? Tell me how you, how you started some stories or how you want to start some stories or which would you rather, would you rather start at the beginning? Would you rather start in the middle or would you rather start at the end or which one would be better for you? So that's it. No rambling. Cause I started rambling. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember my saying, if it's not, if you're not having fun doing it, then it's not fun to do. Keep drawing.